<laughs> Welcome to tonight's live chat. Um, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about writing craft while crafting. <laughs> <laughs> So definitely let us know in the comments any questions you have uh, related to writing and books, um, because we have no topics or questions planned for tonight. So I mean, we are, general yeah. topics. But. We, we are relying on your questions. Um, so please give them to us. Uh, but we will start off by going around and just talking about what we are crafting during tonight's chat. So first person I have is Megan. I um I used to know how to crochet adequately and <laughs> turns out I don't remember. So today I'm making a chain. <laughs> we'll see how long it gets by the end of the chat. <laughs> I have a lot of yarns. So. It's an important yeah. foundational part of crocheting. So. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and Rachel? I'm going to be doing some uh, cross stitch today, but I'm not sure which product I'm going to work Ooh. on because I already made this that has little like stalks. So I was thinking of doing some flowers, some flowers, but I'm also thinking about just starting a whole new one. I already have another hoop all set up. Um, but I currently just like my yarn is just hanging out like this. Oh my so I know that was my, my embroidery thread is a job. Like I have nice ones here too that are like actually like in packages, but the majority of it is just in a knot, so we'll see what I can get. <laughs> Love it. And Erin? Okay, so I have no talents, so I'm just doing... I'm making a um, chain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a well-rounded person, and I only write, so I am just doodling on scraps of paper. Um, I used to draw, I used to think that I could draw like manga in high school. And um, so I will also be doing that now. And they're they're terrible, but don't let Erin undersell herself. They're very good. I've seen some of them. <laughs> you saw one panel. I saw an <laughs> image, and it was good. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought I was a graphic novelist in high school, and I was not. <laughs> hey, with enough practice, you could have been. Yeah, that's true. Still were no were you a great novelist in high school either? <laughs> Probably no, not. No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Uh, I'm. I was planning to crochet, but in the last minute, I decided to do a digital version of what Erin was doing, and I will Ooh. be doodling on my iPad. Although looking at Rachel's string collection, my brain went like friendship bracelets, and I wish I thought to do this. Oh, hey, oh, no. No. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, now we have to do this again. <laughs> make friendship bracelets? Yes. Incredible. We all make one and send it to someone else. Yes. 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 <laughs> what a great idea. I don't have um, a second talent. I'll just have to do <laughs> Friendship bracelets noodles. are very easy, Erin. You yeah, braid your yarn easy. together. Who True. wants my effort at a friendship bracelet? Don't <laughs> volunteer <laughs> all at once. I, <laughs> I haven't made one since like sixth grade, but I have every confidence that I can pick it up pretty quickly. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, I am also crocheting. So yes. um, oh, wow. I'm, oh, I'm trying to make a baby blanket, which um, might be done by the time my child is in high school. Because uh, that's all I've got so far. But I mean, babies are small. Yeah, so. it's, it's been months though. <laughs> that's how far I am. But I'm working away at it. So, so. for your eventual grandchild. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Grandchild. Plan ahead. <laughs> and oh, Helen, uh, I am also crocheting. I'm in the middle of a very rainbow scarf. Wow, oh, very nice. I started it in January and left it on my floor for three months, so it was covered in cat hair. But you know what? Love it. It's what getting work done now. Exactly. <laughs> nice. You know, something really random that happened to me last, was it last weekend that Tamara Woods did that write-in? Yeah, it was on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamara Woods did a, a write-in day going for a 10K day and channel hopped a bunch. And one of the channels we were on for it was uh, Cachets, who I know I've seen you here sometimes. Um, Ooh, but mm -hmm. Cache also has videos that are crocheting and chatting. So yeah. apparently this is a thing. Yes. <laughs> It's like once you really get going, at least if it's a simple crochet project, it's kind of just like you don't really have rope. to pay a whole lot of attention. Yeah, unless you're mm -hmm. doing something really complicated. Yeah, which I am. 
Uh, <laughs> question for the Canadian crocheters. Do you guys use British crocheting terminology or American? What? There's what? A difference? <laughs> yeah. What? The states are different. I believe I learned it with American, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to remember how it goes. I think it's their double crochet. They're like, everything is like one up. So like what we call a single crochet, they call a double crochet. Oh, interesting. Oh, weird. Yeah, no, what we call I'm a double, pretty... they call a triple. That makes okay, sense. Yeah, yeah. I did learn it your way, I think. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I always felt like this feels like more than... There's one more loop than there should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what a single is for them. Do they have a single crochet? I'm very It might single. be a slip knot. <laughs> no, no, because yeah. they, they use slip knots and chains. Like they... Oh, that weird. Is, yeah. Because hmm. actually the like pattern that I like and basing this blanket on is like a British person. And yeah, it's like, it's a single crochet blanket, but they call it a double crochet blanket. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I learned like in the single, comments. single. Could we have any British people? <laughs> what is a single crochet? Isn't it Does like exist in your terminology? Wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't it be like 10 or like 11 PM? Yes, welcome. <laughs> it, would be, chat. <laughs> it would be like midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nine, nine right. hours, I think. Oh dear, uh, yeah, five hours from me. Right so. now. Yeah. Um, In the Vanessa comments, asked, "How long will my chain be?" Uh, time will tell. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the big question of the night. <laughs> yeah, What's your guess. Oh, get a rule. <laughs> your guess it based on how fast I'm going. <laughs> what did Rachel say? It'll be a scarf. You just have to wrap around and around and around. <laughs> yeah, like five hundred yes. times. <laughs> I was talking to my husband, like, this is what I'm going to do. And he's like, I mean, you could do something real. And I was like, yeah, but that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have decided that I'm going to do a whole new one. I'm just going to start yes. from scratch and do a, a new one. But I've also decided that I want to do like a floral pattern, but I want to do it in like blues and greens. So I think I'm going to start off with like this kind of a Ooh. dusty color Ooh. and then Ooh, put some of these Ooh. in. Get a little contrast. Those, those yes. ones there. Yeah, I think. Love I'm it. liking it. Yes. Color is something I would love to get better at. Like my instincts just aren't quite there in mm -hmm. art and in writing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rachel Pastors said that their double is our single. They don't have a single stitch. There goes chain, okay. slip, double, triple. That was Thank you, question. Rachel. I was like, is there a single? <laughs> Very interesting. I definitely learned American, American. then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was really curious. Because I learned like single, half, double, double, and treble. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I only know single and double. <laughs> Yeah, half double is just right in the middle. It's what I'm. It's actually what I'm doing for the yeah. scarf. I know I've like I've done half double and I've like learned it, but it's like the one I always have to look up again. I'm like, what exactly is that? <laughs> I've forgotten. I have made one pretty thing crocheting Ooh, one time. Wow! And I have saved it for ten years and will never be able to replicate it. I remember in elementary school we had a crochet club. And it was like every whatever, like every other lunchtime, you'd go into the some empty classroom while everyone else is out at lunch break and crochet. And I think we were trying to crochet squares so that we could all make like a giant quilt or something. Mm, that was cool. But you know, nine year old me learn. was not good at it and just made like triangles. So. <laughs> So, so I feel like that's a like cool idea. Blanket, Rachel. It didn't a cool go idea, well. but then if everyone's squares don't turn out like the exact same size. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what happened to it. I just remember holding up a, a square and being like, this is underwear. This isn't a square. Like, this is a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I assume the blanket never got made. I really doubt happened. it. I have no idea what happened to any of those squares or what. Someone held on to it for like five years and then was like, probably time to get rid of it. I have no idea. <laughs> I swear my mom has still held on to every craft project from like kindergarten onward. And <laughs> it was like laughter. She was like, do you want all of this? And I was like, no, why are you keeping it? You don't want it. You're offering it to me. <laughs> I cut out construction paper in the shape of a star. What's yeah, wrong with you? So talented. I did find recently when I was at my, I mean, not recently because we haven't left our house in a million years. Um, but last year when I went to my parents' house to visit, 
I found an old box full of like memories that my mom had kept. And there were some old like stories that I had written and those were very fun. <laughs> oh, amazing. <sighs> How is everyone's writing going? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so far in our crafting and talking about writing we've just talked about crafting so that yeah. should tell you something yeah. <laughs> I actually i am yeah, on the ahead. epilogue of my book so it's almost done. oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. yeah i should have finished it this weekend but then i, I didn't do any writing this weekend, so. that's exciting <laughs> oh my gosh how long of an epilogue is it it's pretty short Ooh. so yeah, so like a That's week awesome. until I can have it. <laughs> it's You're like, gonna send me your first draft, right? I have to finish it, and then I'm giving myself like maybe two weeks to just like do like really like quick and dirty revisions of like, <laughs> like make this not quite so embarrassing. Yes, that. and then I can send it out. Yes. I wanted to do more revisions, but I don't want to start on revisions and then have a baby and then forget where Come I was. And have no yeah, clue. for sure. Yeah. yeah. I will yeah. not remember what I was doing. So yeah. Good idea. I, I actually had a I had a very good uh weekend, surprisingly enough, because I usually don't get much writing done on the weekend. Um but I had like a mini writers retreat thing. We were supposed to like go be in a cabin somewhere, but Obviously, that was not happening. So we all just like stared at each other's faces on Zoom while we wrote, much like the word nerds do. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I got like ten pages written this weekend, and dope. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's yes. very exciting. I continued writing the what was supposed to be a fluffy contemporary that I started in our write-in earlier this month. Mm -hmm. uh, it's bad. No, Some but it's still go wrong. not fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> it has yet to become the fluffy contemporary I intended it to be. Um, <laughs> it's dark instead. It's just apparently a lot of my own mental health issues are leaking onto the page, so that's uh, not fun. <laughs> <laughs> that tends but to happen. It does just a bit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I'm at like twenty five hundred words now on it in total, so. You know, progress. Nice. Good start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually had a an okay Camp Nano. Um, I didn't hit the original goal that I thought, but I set the original goal right at the beginning of the whole pandemic thing, and so I don't feel like super bad about not hitting that one. Um, but I did uh, write like fifteen thousand words over the last couple Ooh. weeks. That's awesome. nice, and I am having good fun with it. So Jody wants to know if anyone is excited about the Stephanie Meyer announcement. Hmm? I'm interested in it. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm very curious. I don't know what this is. Did she no, like there's drop like a, a count, there's like a countdown on her website? Awesome. Oh. Just a, ca a countdown. Just, just a countdown. Like oh. yeah. so a lot of people think it's midnight <laughs> sun. The countdown. Stephanie Meyer's like, I know when the pandemic's going to end. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people like think it's gonna be Midnight Sun and are hoping for that. I would rather have a sequel to The Host, if anything. Yeah. Please, mm. I did it. Yes. I feel like everyone wants like, Midnight Sun, but she wouldn't do it. Just I don't think it's she too. Would. It's like there's too much behind it that no. I don't think it would. I don't think it would happen. Well, it's just mm -hmm. like she's already released like that like gender swapped version or whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, and so I just feel like. I don't know. Yeah, I'd rather have like a sequel to the host. Unless she was like, I like Midnight Sun. Sun. <laughs> Midnight Sun was the book yeah. she was writing. It was Twilight, the first book from Edward's perspective. Uh, and then part of it got leaked on the internet. And she was like, fine, I'm not going to write and publish this book anymore because y'all leaked it. So, well, presumably by someone she trusted enough to send. Ooh, it, I don't know. Yeah, it there, but, so, yeah, so I can only imagine that does not have good like feelings or vibes for her as a yeah. writer. Yeah. yeah. I would not want to revisit yeah. somebody something yeah. like that really. Yeah. Well I know her adult sci-fi didn't do too well. Like no one really mm. cared. And the people that I do know that read it were like, yeah, it was bad. And I was like, all right. Wait, which so, one? 
the chemist? Chemist? the chemist the chemist i didn't read that one I didn't read anything. yeah i heard it was bad oh. I was like, all right. so, yeah i saw it with all this like speculation i saw someone say they really liked it so oh really okay well yeah, <laughs> I, don't remember I haven't read it so i don't know maybe it's a new book of hers huh? that's yeah, maybe they're counting down to who knows not me um we had a question for uh uh helen what's a fluffy contemporary uh, it's like a light-hearted cute see usually there's a pretty romance heavy like modern day story and i was writing like a university age meant to be fluffy sort of rom-com kind of thing and then it was just like nope have all of your weird self-esteem issues just be there immediately on the first page. I was like, all right, this is what we're doing now. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes so, it just hijacks you. Honestly, it'll end up at that like cute fluffy place, but I'm just got to work through some stuff. first. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> there there like, to all the boys I loved before, like a, an example a of fluffy. Fluffy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or like, um, I would consider like Casey West's books mm, yeah. to be like fluffy mm-hmm. contemporaries, especially like fill in boyfriend. Mm. Yeah. I was realizing uh, as I've been writing, I had intended and have aged my characters so that they are adults. Um, so the one I'm writing right now is an adult fantasy. Mm. And, um, now I'm having all these second thoughts because it feels like a lot of the themes that are happening are very like, there's a person who is like treating them like children and just this idea of like trying to buck out of that. And so now I'm trying to decide like, are do those themes not apply to adults or do they apply? Cause it's like new adult age. Like how do you guys decide how to age your characters? Hmm. I definitely think you could make it a new adult because that is also the point of life where you're like, I'm an adult. And then like, you're like, no, you're not. You're like, no, you're doing <laughs> yeah. I'm an adult. Yeah. I have no clue. Like just you're because definitely... you, just because you've got the go ahead from the government that you have an official <laughs> ID and you can drink now does not make you an adult. <laughs> <laughs> and there's probably that like feeling like, I mean, I'm like late twenties now, almost 30 and like still like so much of the time it's like, when will like, people treat me like an adult, you know, like there's mm-hmm. still like, especially like in the workplace and stuff when you like, I work in a field where oh, most of my coworkers are older than me. And so it like makes me feel really young, you know, and like mm-hmm. and people aren't like condescending about it, but there is very much kind of this like, Oh, well, we're going to give you life advice. Cause you're like so much younger and stuff, you know, like, mm-hmm. and it's like, when will I finally like <laughs> be an yeah. adult in the workplace? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I definitely do think that like themes are an important part of figuring out what age you should write mm-hmm. a book for, you know, because mm-hmm. some things fit better. Yeah, for sure. Um, let us know in the discussion section if there's any writing topics you'd like for us to discuss. Um, we're happy to talk about anything, and we are also mm-hmm. happy to just keep chatting with each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, craft. My chain is going great. <laughs> oh wow! Amazing. It's a long chain. <laughs> wow. wow! We are only twenty minutes in. Oh. <laughs> Plus, who knows How what I'm going to do with we'll this? <laughs> I have like half of a flower embroidered. <laughs> so yes. far. How's your doodling going, Kelly and Aaron? Doodly, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I have a per like a like a face now. Nice. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. I feel like that's progress of some kind. <laughs> so, okay, I don't know if it's going to rotate if I try to show you what I am up to. I'm like, oh no, it's going ah, to... Uh, so there's going to be oh, six people. Oh, 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 oh. If you like it at the end, we'll have to tweet it or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Only if you like it. Put it on our Instagram, which we have now. Hey, yes. there, everyone, please. There's <laughs> blog. Because branding. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, we'll have to get like a photo or something of us with all our crafts. <laughs> thumbnail. Like, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, we'll use a good thumbnail so we can post it on Instagram. <sighs> mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. A cat has entered my bedroom. <laughs> and I am surrounded by a yarn. lot of yarn. <laughs> I feel, oh dear. No, honey, no, go on. <laughs> no. Don't be a stereotype. Oh, one. Pumpkin. One. 
Well, she'll definitely try and eat it. So <laughs> <laughs> I had a similar yarn situation to you a couple weeks ago where like the yarn I'm crocheting with like got into this like huge knotted mess and I had mm -hmm. to like unravel the entire thing and roll it into a ball. And I was really glad there was not a cat around because it was like, it was just like yarn everywhere. <laughs> well, like I used to have, I just put all of my stuff in one bag. So it gets pretty tangled. And the other day I sat down to be like, all right, I'm going to do some embroidery and you know I'll take my time and have some fun just like whatever and there was it was just all one giant knot so I spent three hours untangling things and rolling them all into balls so I have a good like 70% of that in little like yarn packages um but then there's this that I couldn't get undone so mm -hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen with it <laughs> Which is why I'm embroidering with blue. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't want to untangle more green. Did I? Yes. So Vanessa asked something that I'm curious about because I'm not 100% sure on this an on the answer. <laughs> she asked what the uh, genre of the selection series by Kira Cass would be. <laughs> and like oh. setting wise, it's technically sci-fi because it's in the future. Well, isn't it technically not? Isn't it dystopian? I was just gonna yeah, say, I'm pretty sure it's dystopian. technically dystopian, but like, <laughs> but like not but really very much like, like a fluffy contemporary feel, <laughs> but in a dystopian and world. like kind of a fantasy yeah. romance feel, but in a dystopian <laughs> setting. See, this is yeah. a genre mash that works because we don't even care. We're like, this is a good fun book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We did the trilogy for book club, and I read the whole thing in a weekend. Me too. Yeah, I did <laughs> too. Yeah. Yeah. It. <laughs> it was so fun. I love to hate it so badly. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, it's got approved for a Netflix series now. Yeah, yeah. and you know yeah. what? Like, I would watch it. <laughs> oh, I one hundred percent. It's gonna be like I like. Part of me is like, please let it be CW trash. So that, I, but like, part of me is also like, can you do a good job with See, it? Like, like, it originally <laughs> was supposed to be a. It was CW picked it up first, like years yeah. ago. Oh my god, yeah. it was such a so perfect sad that it show. Because <laughs> it would have been like. Well, the then, type of garbage I would have loved. Exactly. It would have been someone, someone wrote a script for yeah. it at some it's point, and it was very good. explicit. Yeah. Oh, there's no. a, a script is out there for the CW version, and like, it's like wow. I've only read the first scene. Like, this is not in the spirit yeah. of the book. It's like Max's mom walking in on him with like a servant girl. What? Oh my Max, Maxon, how dare you, sir? That is not that's your guy's at all. And also, like, that's not Maxon. How am I supposed oh, to root no. for this guy? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Well, then, thank goodness. Yeah. Max right. and Trev is one of the only YA love interests that, like, is actually a great guy. He does not deserve <laughs> yeah. to be done dirty. Does oh, anyone remember the, like, really bad delirium pilot? Yes! yes. I would, they did, like, the whole book in one pilot. Yeah! Yes. And then the pilot and it, ended with them getting out beyond the fence. I that was pilot, so bizarre. Like, get air. They're like one of my favorite things. Yes, especially with, like I love when it's like shows that actually became successful, but like the original pilot was really bad. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what if like the original Game of Thrones pilot was like mess? <laughs> <laughs> well, the wild thing too is that I didn't hate the Delirium pilot, but we hit the end of it, and I was like, I don't understand. Is it a three episode show? <laughs> it was like it was gearing to be a mini series instead of a mm -hmm. proper season of television. Hmm. It was very mm -hmm. bizarre. We okay, had a question. Ooh, I'm ready. Emma, what are you wearing? I can't figure out your neckline of what the shirt is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now you're sitting up. I can see yeah, it. There you go. <laughs> there's, there's the neckline for you. Uh, <laughs> it's the maternity shirt. Options are limited. Uh, oh, that was the worst part about being mm -hmm. pregnant. Like, you would think it would be being miserable all the time. <laughs> it was the maternity shirt option. That's just where we live, is being miserable all the time. That's <laughs> normal. <laughs> But at least um, normally you can have cute clothes. Yeah. <laughs> when you're pregnant, nope. <laughs> um, Vanessa asked, what's Delirium? It is uh, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. It was a yeah. trilogy that came out during that whole dystopian craze. Um, dystopian romance craze. Yeah. 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 I so liked great, it. A lot of people idea. hate it. Like, hate I don't, the ending. I don't, yeah, I don't like the way she ended it very much. But but. I was cool with it. 
I've only read the first book, but I own the other two. I just, just read the first book. I would have. <laughs> I like the second one, and I like the love interest in the second one a lot Actually, better. That's true. I, do like I wish it. I wish the love interest from the first one had just like disappeared or died or something because I didn't yeah. like him. See, I so wonder I if that's why I liked the ending because I was like, please don't break my heart and have her like obviously choose this other guy who I don't like as much. Mm -hmm. I was just like, why is she still contemplating this guy from the first book? He is boring. <laughs> has no least for hair. Have yeah, for hair and like, what <laughs> what do they have in common? <laughs> He literally every Sorry. time no described, she describes it as falling leaves. Yeah, it always says his hair looks like autumn leaves, and it says it like yes. twenty <laughs> times in the first book. <laughs> but it was very fun. I do recommend it if you are still looking for good dystopian and you haven't read it yet. Mm -hmm. Basic um, premise was that like love is a thing that's like removed entirely. So yeah, yeah like love is like a disease. Odd. Yeah, they take they, like, it out of you. They, like give you a vaccine or something. At a certain yeah, age. it's wild. <laughs> yeah, and of course the girl falls in love with a boy from the outside. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? I know, wild. <laughs> um, we had a question from Daniel. Revision process. Love it or hate it? Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Love the idea of it. Hate actually doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I like the mm -hmm. organizational parts of it. Like I like like making the index cards and like laying everything out and figuring yeah. out what I'm gonna do, but like mm -hmm. actually going in and doing it. And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> can't this just magically be done for me? Yeah. I yeah. hate the like line edit side of it, but I really enjoy like making the big changes and seeing it turn into the shape that I wanted it to be from the start. I like the line edits because I know how much easier that is and everything else is done. <laughs> I always feel like the line edits shouldn't take that long because it's not that much, but then every chapter takes like an hour. <laughs> mm. Even now, sometimes I've been the last couple of weeks I've been reading more obviously and there's I've just seen some mistakes in printed copies and I'm like how did this get past so many people <laughs> I, think it's like I have to page. assume I'm like how is this so obvious yeah I have to assume that those things are like in the last step something got clicked funny That's so it like, very wasn't there often what it is it's like mm -hmm. The mistake was made at the last second, type of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. after copy edits. Were done. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you see it, you're like, ah, no, I don't think there was one. <sighs> was there one in Witch's Fashion Run? I don't think there was. There almost was, though. And mm -hmm. I caught one and went, oh no, crap. Because it was like a, <laughs> like when you change, like when you accept the changes type of thing. Um, and then something had gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw a couple in the arc. But luckily, that yeah. was the arc. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished reading it this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good. Good. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Highly recommend. Uh, that's Witches of Ash and Ruin by E. Latimer, um, mm -hmm. a very good witchy Celtic book that just came out um, like a month ago. Yeah, that was a banging uh, cover. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Has it actually been? Oh my gosh, Yay. you guys. <laughs> I have mine over there, but if I get up, I'm afraid I will trip on this chain. <laughs> <laughs> on the very Mine's long. Just been sitting here for like a month and a half because I'm still at the exact same spot because I <laughs> have been in a slump for like a month. But. Mm -hmm. Not because of your book, because I've been loving it. Every time I pick it up, I'm like, why am I not reading this more? And then I put it down and I'm like, uh, reading. Yes. I am also in a reading slump because I can't seem to concentrate on anything long enough. So yeah. I don't know why. I'm in the well, I do know why, three but... books right now because I'm like. <laughs> I was doing really well, like listening to audiobooks, but then I fell down the stairs and <laughs> broke some toes. And now I can't like clean the house while listening to them i'm getting to the point where i could start doing it again now i think um start listening and just like tidying up the house and stuff because that's what i like to do because then it's like your mind is half on book half on just being busy mm -hmm. which has been good <laughs> i know i'm falling so behind on my podcasts and audiobooks because i don't transit to work anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> luckily a lot of well not luckily it's sad but a lot of my podcasts like haven't had new episodes recently like, oh, no. on. Mm -hmm. so i'm like well this Missing them. <laughs> the last yeah. book I really, really got into was like Gideon the Ninth, as you guys know. Um, Wait, did you like that book? <laughs> I was like, what is 
I thought you didn't like that kind of thing. Uh, you were really vague about it. <laughs> did, I, did I not go on and on and on about it enough? Um, but no, I, like even Call Down the Hawk, I was like going along at a fair clip and enjoying it. And then I put it down for a while and just couldn't get back into the end of it for some reason. Mm -hmm. This just don't have the attention span right now, apparently. Because, you know, the plague or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. I'll do it. <laughs> Um, we did have a really good question that I would love to, to dive into more that I don't think we've talked about a ton, a ton on this channel, which is saying something because we have a bazillion a lot of videos. videos. An egregious um, amount. Yeah. Vanessa asked, how do you do line edits? What's your process for that? Good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just start from the beginning and read through and figure out what sounds wrong to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. fix it. <laughs> it's probably why we don't. I don't know how I would do a whole video about line edits unless I actually like that would be an interesting idea because you can get like a screen capture video of somebody like one of us actually doing line edits. That would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but otherwise, I don't know how I'd do a video about it because it's pretty basic for me. Yeah, um, we've got Des in the backstage area, so I'm going to pull someone off screen. Um, Kelly, I'm going to pull you off for just a minute. Well, I'm going to be switching everyone out. From Hi, here. Desiree. Hi, Desiree. Hey. It's nice to see your face again. It's nice yeah. to see you too. Yeah. How's it going today? It goes. That's <laughs> all I can ask for, really. Yeah. Um, but you have a computer. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes. yes, Desiree hasn't been good. with us because a computer broke, which sucks. Tragic. It was, it was like the charging pen, like died in inside of it. No. Yes. I had a computer. It was like two computers ago that like the part where the charging cord went in like got cracked, and so it like wouldn't stay oh, well. No. And so like I had to have it on like a level surface and like keep really still, which makes like writing difficult. You start typing, and it would like jostle it. And move. Yeah. 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 And the battery was bad, so it would like die if it came unplugged. So. Yeah. Um, You're just like frozen trying to write your, <laughs> your <yeah>. manuscript. <laughs> oh, uh, going back to line edits, I, for me, line edits is a bit more of a tedious process because I'm not super good at describing things um, in my early drafts. And even when I'm doing like a first round of revisions where I'm doing so many sweeping changes, it's like, there's still kind of a lot to flesh out at the end for me. And so usually I do two passes at the line level. Um, so meaning I go start to finish twice um, through the book. And the first time I'm mostly looking for like, where can I put more to each scene? Like, where are they physically? What's the location? What does it feel like? What does it look like? and just having them interact with the scene more because they almost never are interacting with the scene enough. And then the second time through, I'm looking for, um, are there any spelling errors that I've missed? Uh, grammatically, does everything look okay? And then just the worst part for me, which is, are there sentences that I can make sound prettier than they currently do? <laughs> So I'll have things like the last thing I'm editing is always one sentence where I'm like, is there a better way, a better metaphor I could use for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so funny because that's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate like one of the worst parts of that whole process is like <laughs> is when you're like, wow, I've used the same like word or type of description too many times or like the same mm -hmm. sentence structure too many times. Now I have to vary things up and suddenly I can't remember any other words <laughs> that yep. like, describe this thing. Like yeah. what do people do other than nod and smile? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it just feels like like pacing is something I'm pretty good at diagnosing in myself being like, Oh, the pacing isn't right here. Here's how I need to fix it. And then I always get stressed when I'm going in on the description level and making my prose prettier in some places and making the settings more vivid that I'm slowing down the pacing <laughs> that mm -hmm. I have just perfectly calibrated. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I do. Hmm. 
Um, Mark said, why was this recommended to me? Hey, from England. I hope you're all <laughs> hey, Mark. Maybe it got recommended because we were chatting about um, English style crocheting earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been. That's what you're looking for, right? <laughs> um, hello from North America. Yeah. So uh, get some sleep. It's like 1 a.m. <laughs> Um, we had a question. do you yeah stay up as late as you want <laughs> thanks for hanging <laughs> out with us <laughs> videos. um and griswold asked do you have plans to do another workshop soon i love the one on world building i got so much work done that night and we do have another one planned do you want to talk about it kelly uh this is just next week right <laughs> yeah so next week we are going to be doing a character building workshop I haven't done any homework for it yet, so I can't tell you exactly what it's going to involve, but I'm going to be copying what Megan did. So that's probably a pretty good starting point. <laughs> <laughs> the general idea is come with let little fleshed out characters or whatever and leave with more fully fleshed out realized ones. So hopefully it'll be applicable if you didn't come to the stage of writing you're in. So if you are preparing to start drafting, hopefully it'll be useful. And if you have revisions to do, hopefully it will also be useful. Yeah, I think I'm going to look at it from like starting from scratch or flushing out something you already have. Hopefully, come up with some activities that will be applicable either way. But I have some different things I want to do, and we'll try to turn it into something helpful. Yes, it's going to be great. Yes, we're going to learn together. <laughs> oh, and uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. And you're wondering, why we're doing like a screen shuffle. It's because StreamYard only lets us have six of us on at once. And there are seven of us today. We're all here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to shuffle myself out. Get the Helen back in. <laughs> I never really liked her anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That is fire. The shape. Wow! <laughs> I'm half expecting Emma to just disappear now. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> Everyone here will be a witness. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, uh, and Vanessa wants to know when we're doing our next game night. Ooh, I don't know when that next is. Month? Next month? I think so, yes. yeah. the end yeah. of next month. Yeah, because yeah, this month have... is Howl's Moving Castle. Yes. Next movies. month is game night. So, yeah. So, last week of June. <laughs> the shuffling people around thing really messing with my drawing. Because <laughs> I keep looking up, and now everybody's in different spots. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, no. <laughs> what I'm working on is gone. And... <laughs> Increased challenge. I like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. I haven't embroidered for so long that now I'm running into space management issues. <laughs> oh no. I should have planned this better. I got too cocky. I was like, I'll just go mm -hmm. in. It's fine. I have a basic <laughs> pattern. I can do whatever. I can improvise. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, improvising is now, <laughs> now vital. <laughs> I've only ever cross-stitched from like a like pattern. So I mm. No, I, I say cross stitch, but I mean embroider because cross stitching yeah. is just it's. I did it for a little while, and it is very difficult. Um, it is fun. It's nice, but just because it's so um, like symmetrical, because you're just making a bunch of little X's, and then those X's yeah. turn into things. But I prefer embroidery, just because if you mess up, you can just kind of make it messy <laughs> and like put some knots and stuff, and be like, yeah, I totally did that on purpose. It's, it's artsy. Yeah, exactly. Embroidery is more fun, in my opinion. Cross stitch mm -hmm. is like. I tried cross stitching. I've been embroidering since I was like little because my grandma did it. Mm -hmm. But I just like started cross stitching like in my adulthood, and it's not as fun as you think it's going to be. <laughs> well, you look at it, you're like, oh, that's easy. yeah. Well, you're just like, it's fine. Like it's easy. I know. I just me just make a bunch of X's, and then you like make it into something. But if one of those X's is slightly different, you can tell. <laughs> and then you have to read the whole line. So I was like, I don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. I, know. I feel like I'm like crocheting dangerously because I stopped counting my rows a while back and I'm like, I sure no, hope I didn't no. drop a stitch somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so far it looks even, so I think I'm still okay. All right, great. Um, that happened to me with the scarf back in January and that's why I stopped working on it because I had like mm -hmm. three feet of scarf 
And then I like mm -hmm. held it up and I was like, oh, I definitely dropped a stitch like oh, no. 20 oh. rounds ago. Oh. So I just like completely unwound it and uh, started over. I'm like, I feel like I can uh, relate that back to writing. And then like, I've dropped so many subplots that I told myself <laughs> I totally would remember. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah. I was about that the other day where I was looking back at some like super old notes of mine and one of them was for I think one of my first manuscripts I ever wrote and there was so many notes of like hey remember this subplot write this subplot write more of this thing oh, into gosh. the first part of the book write more of this thing of the second part of the book because I completely <laughs> forgot that they existed <laughs> and then me going back in some notes I'm like oh Forgot to add those people. Yeah, so I drop <laughs> oh, yeah, and I drop like side characters. I'm like, oh, yeah. that character hasn't shown up in half the book. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's really pretty, Helen. Oh, thank you. Ooh, I like this color. It's very, very bright mm. rainbow. Oh, I love the gradient on that. Right? Very and it kind of looks like tie dye, but it's crocheted. Yeah. yeah, very pretty. Wild. Thank you. <laughs> I've used a surprising amount of this yarn, so we'll see how long it can actually be. Mm. <laughs> Your scarf and Megan's scarf need to come together somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be the length and width of one regular scarf. <laughs> <laughs> So she can just send you the chain when she's done and you can turn I'll, it in. I'll, I'll, I'll make it into like a little border and some tassels. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so it'll just be one very thin, very long scarf with a <laughs> thick end. <laughs> Waiting for more questions. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, best friend. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> oh, boy. Bless. Um, what is everyone trying to read right now? I have 140 pages left in Gideon the Nights. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> we have a very convenient uh, live chat book club on that when you finish yeah. it. <laughs> I'm currently in the middle of Scavenge the Stars. Ooh, how is Ooh. it? Um, mm -hmm. it's like it's good. Um, it's I don't know. I it like uh, like it is <laughs> it is different than anything that I've read. But at the same time, I'm like I'm not wowed by it. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I know Kyra really likes it, and if you don't know Kyra, she is a guest word nerd that comes on sometimes. I know she loves it. Um, and it does have a lot of tropes I like, like the the orphan girl pretending to be a queen and trying to dupe the rich whoever mer merchant's son and you know revenge plot no, no, no. and i'm like all right cool yeah but uh something yeah. about it I'm, I'm just not like 100 percent into it but i mean it's good enough that i've read to the middle where i am now so I'm like i don't know what my final star <laughs> rating will be i got mm -hmm. it in an owl crate earlier this year so Ooh. i've been like meaning to pick it up but i also haven't read for fun in months so mm -hmm. i think i think i would also like it a lot more if i hadn't um if i hadn't read other adult fantasy novels that had a similar premise mm. it's a kind of monte cristo retelling right it is mm -hmm. Yeah, an account of one Crisco. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Uh, what is that? What book? Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I really I have... to like my good reads. <laughs> yes. I have realized a very strange thing about myself, which is that books that take place on boats aren't quite my thing. Oh, which I okay. don't understand why. Um so yeah, that's a, a new thing I've learned about myself this year is that like, while I can appreciate that they are good for some reason, I have a really hard time connecting with books that take a large amount of time on a boat. Hmm. So well, you know, that's I'm really proud of you for realizing that. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's the mature approach. The first time I heard Megan tell me that, I said, I'm going to write something and have the twist on the end be that it was not a book. <laughs> <laughs> Trick her into liking it. Huh? Bless. Mm -hmm. um, I 
just used my birthday money to buy some books and they came in the mail today and I got <gasps> um, Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Morelier because I've like seen so many people talking about it lately. It's an older book, but I keep seeing it come up in people's recommendations. So I'm going to read it finally. Ooh. And I also got um, This is How You Lose the Time Time War, which I'm really uh, excited about. I might start that one I want to read yeah. it so yeah. bad. I haven't yes. heard about that one. What is it? I've not heard about this book. <laughs> I just put a hold on it today because my friend finished it and texted me and was like, I'm going to friend divorce you if you don't read this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it came out like last year, I think. Yeah. Oh, Everybody novella. About it. Yeah, it's pretty short. And it's two authors. It's Max Gladstone and someone else. Okay. It, yeah. It's like, like two rival time travelers time travel leaving spies, sticky notes for each other. Mm. What? That's yeah. All, so cool. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just mm -hmm. I've just missed something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amal El Motar and Max Gladstone, and yeah, oh. it's all like in letters and it has like romance in it. I don't know. I've just heard so much Histolary. about it. So. That's what that's called, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is the word for it. <laughs> I know things. <laughs> it's gotta be pretty short because I have a scribed subscription right now, and the audiobook looks like four hours yeah, or something. The book is yeah. very long. It's probably about that big at most. Hmm. I yeah, I would guess like 300 pages at most, I think. Oh, and I guess because it is epistolary, even though if it's a longer book, it could be a really short the, book because there's not the, actually that much text. Yeah, the text mm -hmm. is also, I just like flipped through it really quickly when I got it and the um, it's a fairly large print too, so. Yeah, I just yeah, actually, I listened to Howl's Moving Castle the other day. I'm sure mm -hmm. it must have been abridged it was only like three hours and there's another version on audible that's like eight hours so oh, i was wow. looking at the how to lose the time war being four hours i'm like am i gonna be tricked again like <laughs> it didn't say anywhere that it was a bridge but I'm like i don't want to start this if it's not the full one mm -hmm. so it is actually a shorter book but yeah. sounds like it's legit short yeah yeah it's a very <laughs> small book Uh, oh. leah said she's reading the widow of rose house and really enjoying mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. i've not heard of yeah, me either. Sounds, it sounds no. cool. Is it spooky? <laughs> <laughs> it's either spooky or romantic or both. Yes. Like. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like a lot of RMOs. <laughs> <laughs> and Ed Griswold is reading Season of the Witch, which is the prequel to Chilling's, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, nice. I have not Ooh. watched that show, but I know some of you have. <laughs> the, there's a book coming out this year, and for the life of me, I can't remember who it's by, uh, but it's called Year of the Witching. And it just Ooh. had a cover release or a cover drop. I want it so bad. It looks so cool. There's so many good witchy books coming out. I, am I know. So excited. I think you started that trend, Erin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend that's the truth. Yes. Take all the credit. You heard it here, folks. E. Latimer single handedly started the uh, witchy book Absolutely. trend. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Ooh, uh, the widow of Rose House says a young widow restores a dilapidated mansion with the assistance of a charming eccentric genius, only to find the house is full of dangerous secrets. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Gilded Age debut novel. It's also described as Victorian <laughs> Gothic. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right. Okay, so like Ever. the book of my dreams that I want to write right now is like a Victorian Gothic feel. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do in the one that I'm drafting and. I'll make it that in revisions. <laughs> I so badly, because of Laura Olympus and Hades Town, like really, really badly want to write like Hades and Persephone. But I'm also like, how do you do it in a way that <laughs> hasn't already been done? Yeah. Uh, between those we'll just being it. like, oh, it's Honestly. just more Laura Olympus or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? If I want to write more Laura Olympus, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I if I saw anything that was just like Hades and Persephone retelling, it's immediately getting added to my cart. I'm buying it. I want to write it so bad, but I just do like it. haven't figured out a plot yet. Please do it. And like I what type of it. book it would be. Because I don't think I would do it as YA. Mm -hmm. And but I like don't know if I would want to do like just kind of like straight, <clears throat> like still in Greece. Like so like Greek kind of retelling or like mm -hmm. something modern or what, you know, like figuring out like setting and style is the hardest part. Yeah. Type of book. My library doesn't have it. I'm putting it on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday's coming up. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
what is everyone's like if you could write anything so we've heard my victorian gothic and emma's mm -hmm. hades and persephone what about the rest of you Ooh. Mm -hmm. oh that's a good question <laughs> i i wrote a fantasy rapunzel retelling and Ooh. left it on the back burner what? um and I would love to go back to it, but I kind of want to make it like really goth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have you seen those? I'm sure you've seen those like edits where they make yes. Rapunzel from Tangled look goth. <laughs> I was like, what am I asking? Of course I like to see those. <laughs> Tangled is my life. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to do a, a Viking like sky in the deep type book but with witches Ooh. And, uh, yeah. Psychic witches. <laughs> hell yeah i ooh, that gives me like weirdly uh i don't know if you've heard of this game at all but there's a game called senua's sacrifice yes yeah it gives me vibes of that just a smidge yeah. very you'll have game. to play it for research <laughs> it's we very short it takes five to seven hours to complete mm -hmm. uh it's recommended to play with headphones, but if you have any triggers associated with uh, psychosis, don't do that. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Probably, Probably the, not a good idea. The main character has uh, like extreme psychosis, and if you play the game with headphones on, the voices like talk to you and they move all around oh, you and stuff. Cool. It's very creepy, but it's ve it's such a good game. I love that. Hmm. Yeah, they did a lot of research for that one. Mm -hmm. the, they're called the Picked Warriors, the ones that paint mm. themselves with blue woad. I definitely want to explore that more. That would be really cool. It's That'd just, be real cool. Let us know in the discussion section if you haven't yet what your dream next project would be. I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> You're want, about to have a lot of time to figure out. Yeah, so yeah. much time. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I want I want something that feels like Howl's Moving Castle. That's mm. what I want to write. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I want to do something that like does something weird with like time, which I know Erin will hate because she doesn't like time. Like, <laughs> and I want something that like does something weird with time because I like things like that. Like Ooh. Raven Boy's weird with time or like time travel weird with time? No. <laughs> I can deal with Raven Boy weird with time. I yeah. cannot deal with time travel. <laughs> Probably more time travel type thing. I also love like slight spoilers for The Witcher. Like I love like how like you find out that it's actually multiple timelines. But, like yes. everything's not happening at the same time. They're happening at different times. I love that. Uh, that was really cool. Like I think it'd be cool to pull off something like that. Hmm. Um, so you should do your time travel book and put it on a secret boat. <laughs> it's secretly time travel and secretly a boat <laughs> every <laughs> review is like okay but the the reveal about the boat was kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> just slowly make a book that has a trope in it that each word nerd hates <laughs> but, but reveal <laughs> secretly has no exactly but reveal it at the end <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um We've got uh, Des is in the backstage area right now using a cricket. That's a machine, right? Mm -hmm. A cricket machine. Um, so if you can hear us, I'm going to make you answer that question too when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> I also really want to do a retelling of the Snow Queen where like the girl who has to save her best friend, I want her to like fall in love with the Snow Queen. Like, yes! Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my big dream projects. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Just hearing anything about taking like a property that's been done by Disney in some capacity and making it graphic, <laughs> I'm like, yes, <laughs> please, do it. I'm like, I have always loved the Snow Queen. Like when I was younger, um, this family we were friends with, they had like this like picture book version of the Snow Queen. And every time I went to their house, I wanted to read that book. <laughs> so I've always wanted to do something with it. And I think that would be a fun twist on it. I have so many ideas for fairy tale retellings just because there's so much there and there's so mm -hmm. much to explore. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to retell, like Hades and Persephone, that I just don't know how mm -hmm. I would do it, you know? But I'm like, but I want to retell it so yeah, I want to add something to that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. 
It's like I'd love to do Beauty and the Beast, but like it's been done so many times. Yeah, yeah. Beauty, I actually had like a full Beauty and the Beast uh, book fully plotted out and partially written back when I was like 17, 18. But then mm-hmm. after a while, it was like, you know, I, I, I don't think. I don't think the world needs another Beauty and the Beast retelling, mm-hmm. but like, now I, I'm I like, would have to have like a really unique idea for it for me. To yeah, do exactly. Mm-hmm. I cannot do Rachel's hair swoop justice. I don't know how to do, draw, draw her hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> have Just you said some, some squiggles? <laughs> have you said Kelly what dream project would be? I don't think I have one. When I want to write it, I write a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Everyone be like Kelly. I, I yeah. was just going to say, like, I wish that was what I did. <laughs> There's actually I'm, a project that I mean, I, I have a lot of ideas I haven't written, but I've got a list of them, but none of them were like, oh, this one, one day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mine is only like one day because I have like two other things I have to write first. So it'll be like, what a problem to have. I finish <laughs> other stuff one day. <laughs> well, it like, yeah, it's, it's a good problem to have. But also I know I'm not gonna be able to get to Viking witches until next year, which makes me a little sad. Not mm-hmm. gonna lie. <laughs> Mine are all one day just because it takes me so long to draft a book. Fair. <laughs> like in the process of drafting one book, I have like four more ideas. I'm like, cool. Exponential growth. This is <laughs> never going to get to all of these before I die. I, I, I like oh, no. <laughs> wow. That took a dark turn. I knew it was going there, and it was still a surprise. <laughs> wow. My problem was so, like, okay. So I switched- <laughs> Sorry, this is a Rachel thing, actually. I switched to drawing Rachel's eyebrows, and whenever I've watched a couple of her makeup things, and I know her eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins, and I copy and pasted them, so now I just <laughs> Now they are sisters. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. That's all I try to get them to do. <laughs> it's just one so I'm making them slightly one different. Oh, that, okay. Good to know. No, don't make me look like that. I try so hard to make them sisters. <laughs> I only say that because it's impossible. <laughs> I appreciate you, uh, your attention to detail and realism, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Since I, know, I think I know you care about. <laughs> Thank you. I put a lot of effort into my eyebrows. <laughs> Everyone has their vice, okay? Yeah, and your get ready with me videos are great. Oh, thank you. I'm like, wow, people watch those? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm looking through what everyone's dream projects are. Um, They look great. I know Leah said Anastasia and Ocean's 8, and, like, I'm here for anything Anastasia-related. It's so, so funny. That, that was another thing that came up in my brain was, like, I also really want to do something with Anastasia. <laughs> oh. And I do. I've written a whole freaking draft of Anastasia Dragons. It's just, I was about to say, how's well, yeah, right. that one's going? <laughs> I have a draft of it. It's just well. everything I wrote at the end of last year is just kind of sitting in a state of yeah. maybe this hell year is done. <laughs> <laughs> We had a Missy Kate said a really good murder mystery who done it, which mm, yes. yes. <laughs> Just any book with a good mystery. I feel like I would love to get better at mm-hmm. having mystery in my novels. If mm-hmm. I could write like a book version of Knives Out, I mm-hmm. would be a very yes. happy girl. I just yes. like want to write something that has like a really good surprise in it, you know, like yeah, you know, like, not necessarily a, a mystery, twist. but pulling off yeah that, that really good plot twist that like later you go back and you like read it and you're like, how of heck course, did I how not? did I miss course. this? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like cool. season one of the Good Place kind of thing where you're like, how did yes. I not know? Mm-hmm. Well, so but last month I read uh, I reread Six of Crows for the first time in a very long time, and I just finished reading Crooked Kingdom yesterday. Just because I was like, I haven't read reread these in so long. I remember liking them. I want to do it again. And finishing Crooked Kingdom was like, how did you do that? Because <laughs> they're so 
many things. And like the main character, Kaz, he constantly, and it's like repeated throughout the entire series. Like you never are like always run more than one game because you think that you're planning this heist, but secretly there's like six other things going on and you don't find out about them until the end. Or it's just one of those things that like, it's a throwaway comment that you're like, oh, that's kind of like a cool piece of information. And then like way later, you're like, oh my God, that was actually like a complete setup. Mm -hmm. So just going back and seeing all those small little plot lines come together, I was like, ah, oh, how'd she do that? I hate this. I'm never gonna be good enough to write like that. <laughs> <sighs> One day. Okay, Des, dream project. Um, <laughs> dream project? Does it have to be like novel dream project? No. Um, dream project would probably be like running a sitcom. Oh, yeah. oh, that's yes. cool. Yes. Oh. I would love to watch that. <laughs> I don't like, even know the premise, but I'm in. Like I know I, I know so the, I know the person behind ideas. these jokes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it comes are like my favorite like thing to watch. Mm -hmm. So I just have like so many ideas. Yes. I'm gonna bring Kelly in. Because Kelly has TV feels too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, <did. laughs> well, I was going to say, first off, if Desiree ever runs a writing room and doesn't hire any of us who want to write TV, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> what would I, I be like, doing I'm, without the uh, with me? So I yesterday just... I read Writing the Pilot at Megan's recommendation. I already messaged her about this. Because it's a great book on writing the pilot, but the last chapter is very disheartening. It's yes. just like... Okay, so you wrote the pilot. Now you should probably just make it yourself because no one's ever going to buy it or read it. Or yeah, I should have put a disclaimer <laughs> in my video about that, but it had been so long that I had forgotten until you messaged me, and I was like, oh, yeah, oh, no. Because, <laughs> yeah, I would love to write for TV. I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. or write I le videos. legitimately was trying to get people together when I lived in Vancouver to do... Am I lagging? A little. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, <laughs> well, I was saying when I was in Vancouver, I was trying to get people together to write a script for and then film like a YouTube type of web series. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you didn't so, like, find anybody deal. with like all the film schools and all the makeup artists? Oh no, I have here? like, I had like six people and then I had to move. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. <laughs> That's unfortunate. See, the thing I would want to do is we talked about this a few times. We've had this idea for like a TV show where it's people who are friends online like we are, and then like someone either disappears or we see something suspicious happen in a chat like this, and then one of them disappears. So we have to like friend solve the crime together. And if I ever wrote that, you would all have to act in it because I don't know what oh, I'm God, doing. Oh god, terrible at acting on camera. <laughs> <laughs> can it can it be a stage play? I want to play Emma. <laughs> 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 all right I'm if we were sure all gonna play somebody else <laughs> we were all gonna play someone else who would we play mm. <laughs> obviously i would play emma because yeah you know her the she best she always has the wittiest retorts so. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be fun <laughs> also you've done like, like over 20 years of character study so i feel like you're ready yeah <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to make a paper flower and it is proving much more difficult than I expected. <laughs> what are you making? A paper flower. But oh, so like that's what you're working on kind of thing? <laughs> master yeah. task. Oh uh, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was like a flower for a thing or something. It is. I'm trying to make, I'm making um, like shadow boxes with paper roses in it for my mom. Aww. Aww. Nice. So I don't know if I'll be skilled enough at this to get it done by Monday. So we'll see. You got a week. <laughs> oh my God, it's May. <laughs> it's gonna be May. <laughs> well, it's almost May the 4th, so. Yeah. <clears throat> If uh, Disneyland was open, they'd be making Space Mountain into a Star Wars ride. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. It is very cool. 
they literally do it just for the day and then they tear all the Star Wars stuff down mm-hmm. and wow. it's back to just being Space Mountain. Oh, boring old, mm-hmm. well, Space <laughs> Mountain. It's only a classic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I got to go to Disney World last Halloween, which I've never been to like a Halloween event Ooh, at a theme park. That sounds cool. And they turned off all the lights for Space Mountain and then played like scarier music. So it sounded like there were monsters as you whipped <laughs> around these corners in pitch oh, that's black. Awesome. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> Disney World's Halloween party is like one of my favorite things of all time. It's yes. so much fun. It's great for when you want like cute, spooky vibes. Yes, you know. all I want. It's like the they have the best parade. Like they have like these like grave diggers in the parade with their shovels, and they do this like routine in the middle Ooh. of the parade, and they like scrape their shovels on the ground, and like sparks come out and stuff. It's so oh. cool. And they have like the ghost ballroom dancers from Haunted Mansion like dancing in the parade and stuff. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. That sounds amazing. Wow. And also, there's unlimited candy. They do trick or treating. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, <laughs> unlimited candy, you say. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, do you have your chain around your neck right now? <laughs> like a choker. Knitting yourself a noose here? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this the thing that's happening in Kelly's perceived pilot? <laughs> <laughs> Crafting gone horribly wrong. I saw you running out of space. Okay. <laughs> it's... Megan accidentally strangles herself. Oh her my god. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have a nightmare about that tonight. I just know it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, you're the person that made it. You can easily unravel it. Yeah, I have scissors right next to me. So You're good. You're good. <laughs> Everything's fine. No disasters. <laughs> I I legitimately have been having quarantine style dreams. So last night I dreamed that I ran out of sourdough bread. It was like only a few slices. <laughs> Terrifying. Left. I was very distraught. It was a bad dream. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so Kelly, Rachel, and I all volunteered with the Everywhere Book Fest, which is going to be my biggest recommendation if you're watching this and you're like, wow, I wish there was more writing. Definitely check out the Everywhere Book Fest. All of the panels and everything are available on YouTube and will be as long as the Everywhere Book Fest has a channel on YouTube. <laughs> they were very um, good. They're very them. good. Yeah, yeah I had stress dreams for days leading up to it because we were helping on like the tech side of thing because they streamed through the same platform that we use here on the Word Nerds. And um, so I had a very long, like I would wake up and fall back asleep and be back in the nightmare <laughs> where oh, no. I went in to check that everything was where it should be and accidentally went live from <laughs> oh, the no. event page. <laughs> without having any authors there. <laughs> Even if you did that, you could just like undo it. <laughs> and then you can't go live to the same link again. And they blasted those links. Mm. Oh, never mind then. That would be <laughs> Just stay online until it was time for them to come back on. <laughs> yeah. Just hold like up. Like you guys. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Do you want to know just... behind the scenes? <laughs> <laughs> it's just me hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> outtakes excellent yeah yeah <laughs> but it, it was a very cool fest uh there's so very many good. authors and i know the the people that organized it uh Ooh. melanie conklin ellen o and christine christina sooner and got they uh, are all super great and Incredible. it was a it was a really good festival i think they said they pulled it off in like six weeks or something yeah. ridiculous and it all went really well, and it's people seemed to have fun. And, and, and yeah, oh my gosh, I was so it was like Marie Lou and Jason Reynolds and Nick Stone and yeah, so I got to take like, this on the Marvel one, and it was just like you're all so cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like every time that I tech produced one, there was I worked with this one tech assistant, and she was so chill, and I was always just like they're all so cool and they're mm. all at places that I would like to be at in my writing career and I'm not. <laughs> One day. Hey, do you want to tell how you and uh, Gail Carson Levine are like now BFFs? Oh my god, yeah, we're besties now. <laughs> I got to, to chat very briefly with her in um, a technical check and she was super nice, just like she is on 
the things and then everyone was Xing out and Gail took the longest to X out and I was waiting to make sure everyone could get out of the chat okay and mm -hmm. did not warn her I would be doing that. So I stared awkwardly at one of the most influential writers of my childhood <laughs> for about 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Oh, but it was so, so good. So definitely check it out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think we've been going a, a little over an hour. Mm -hmm. um, it's been so. a fun craft session. Yeah. How did crafting it go for everyone? It doesn't look like I made any progress, but I did like <laughs> three rows, yeah. by the way. <laughs> See if I can get this off of me without dying. <laughs> so getting tangled. So I'm gonna knot this if I can remember how to do that. We should take pictures afterwards and we could do like a little collage on the Word Nerds Instagram. Yes. Because exactly. branding yes. and marketing and all of that. <laughs> um, I don't yeah. know if my doodles are good for branding honestly <laughs> you can do like a picture of your hand holding the sharpie <laughs> make it a long chain you can look at this it. oh my god wow i'm really impressed <laughs> wow that's wow. a whole blanket <laughs> in one long line but still There's yeah <laughs> i'm gonna measure it wow. you can coil it up yeah. and make it oh my bath. god Hey, yes. there you go. There you go. That's yeah. a good point. Now we're thinking, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. It'll be a very nice blanket for Emma's grandchild. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna, Aaron. I'm gonna pull you out and put Helen back in. Oh hi, <laughs> <laughs> Helen's back with the prettiest of the crafts. <laughs> it's like almost tripled in like. Ooh, wow! wow. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> started off literally like right here so i added all of oh wow in the last hour Dang. that's a lot incredible uh what are you making des we didn't put you on the spot and ask that oh, oh yes we did just kidding you're making yeah. ours i was asking yeah, for a box for your mom. i made one. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty! Lovely! That's really nice! What did, you much use, more. what did you use the cricket for? To cut out so it comes out like this. Oh. And then you roll it. And then you have to roll it. Okay, yeah. that's cool. It comes that's a flower. So cool. Crickets are very cool. They yes. are. I'm so happy to have one. <laughs> when you first were talking about that, I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it was like, 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 a, like an animal? Like, it's like what? how people like um, print out those like vinyl letters vinyl. Yeah. to like put on their living room walls and stuff. When people have like a quote like on their wall. Oh, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. like vinyl, well, basically. It's like live last interesting. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah so, but you can do lots of other stuff with it. And you can do like lots of different materials. And, yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Anyway, I don't see any last minute questions. So I guess we will wrap this up now. Thanks mm -hmm. for being here, everyone. Yeah, for sure. Wait, I will yeah, say, Kelly, what's your progress? Oh, yes. yes. I was good about just no one has any eyes or mouths yet, but I think you can sort of tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emma. Emma is the least descript, but uh, yeah, there we go. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> great, it's kind of getting there. You have some great eyebrows going on, though. Yeah. Yeah. Those eyebrows are better than my real life ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, mine are symmetrical, so like, yeah, great, right. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I did. Uh, I have a couple of flowers. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but ooh, ooh I like nice. so much. Yeah, it's gonna be like a whole like semicircle of flowers, and then it's gonna say something right there. And yes. uh, what's next week's chat? Is the character creation workshop? Is the character so workshop. Okay. Yeah. So either um, bring a character you're working on, or just we'll make someone from scratch. It'll be fun yeah. either way. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> come with your character ideas, and we'll help you flesh them out. Mm -hmm. So we will see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.